Good morning, Buchanan here. I was reading in Luke. Let us pray. God, give us joy. Give us peace. Give us understanding of your word. Let us know when you are near. And let us know what you have to say to us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <clears throat> Basically, this will be part two. Because I start thinking. That's dangerous. I was thinking about in Luke when when God chose Mary, who was highly favored, to be the mother of his child. And um, I was thinking how awesome it had to have been for Mary to have Jesus inside of her. Inside side of her. I mean, I just get chills when I think about that because it brought up memories of when I carried my children. I have three children. And um, just remembering them moving inside and my stomach expanding and expanding and feeling the presence of another being inside me, knowing that that's a human being. You know, you have to stop the drinking and the smoking and, and and consider this human being before you see it. You have to take care of it and be a mother to an unseen child. <coughs> Sorry of my allergies. But just the thought of that. And here it is, Mary's carrying this baby. And I heard someone say it, uh, the child didn't have, Jesus didn't have a conscience when he met uh, John the Baptist who was in his mother's womb. I, I don't believe that. How can conscious, God who created conscious, who created man, who created the land, who created the animals, who created man and then woman, not have a conscious present inside of her? He's all-knowing, ominous. <laughs> How can he not have a conscience, not aware of what he's in? Because not only did he want to understand the outside world, he wanted to understand the inside, the interworkings of a female, the interworkings of a human being. And which, what better way of learning that than to be inside the womb, the carrier, the carrier, the pocket, the pouch that brings forth human life? Ooh. To create and then go inside of your creation. Woo, sweet Jesus. Oh, it's so awesome. Lord, mm, God is so powerful. Woo. So with this being said, just think about the birth. Think about giving birth to your children. Think about when they were inside of you. How you had to nurture them before you ever seen them before you knew totally what they looked like, before all this ultrasound and all this. Just think about back then, it wasn't no ultrasound. Mary didn't know. She knew a, a godly being was in her. She knew that she didn't fornicate with no man. She knew that she was highly favored. She had this presence in her. Can you imagine the thoughts in her head? Just like the thoughts I know was in my head when I was praying, ooh, please, Lord, let them have ten toes, <laughs> ten fingers, you know, two eyes. Oh, Lord Jesus. So... Mm. With that being said today, hug your children. Hug your children. Tell them that you love them. That will help end some of this violence and this killing that's going on today. But let's just tell our children that we love them and just hug them. It'll shock them. It will blow their mind. You just grab them and hug them and tell them you love them. You know, and be safe today. You know, God bless you all. You have a wonderful, marvelous, fantastic day. Bye-bye now.